Hello and welcome. When I first learned full stack development, I watched thousands of videos like this. But whenever I turned off YouTube, I felt more confused than before. There was a lot of information out there and it was just overwhelming. Some say Vue is the best framework, while others say Angular is better. Some say don't learn front-end development, while others say you need to know frameworks to build websites. But after experiencing this advice for a while, I felt that not all of them are actually true. In this video, I will sort you through all the noise and show you how I would learn full stack development if I could start over. And why should you trust me? Because I taught myself to do full stack development since the pandemic, and I have roughly two years of building websites at tech startups. I'm not saying that I'm an expert in this, but I have been through the process. I will help you cut all the BS and get you where you want to be faster. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first step is mastering fundamentals. I believe this is the easy place to start for a beginner. There are three technologies that you need to master. They are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The way I learned fundamental HTML and CSS is by taking the responsive web design on freecodecamp.com. The course is pretty fun to learn and it's completely free. They provide hand-on experience that allow you to build websites using just HTML and CSS. It took me about two months to finish the course during the summer of 2020, but I was quite lazy back then. So if you can dedicate more time and energy into this, I believe you can finish the course in about one month. So once you know some basics of HTML and CSS, let's move on to JavaScript. Most modern applications are built using JavaScript, so knowing this language is uncompromised. I never see any college course that teaches JavaScript, but if you do have one at your school, I highly recommend you take it. The way I learned JavaScript is by taking a complete JavaScript course from zero to expert on Udemy. This is a paid course, but I think the investment is definitely worth it. The course will teach you all the fundamentals of the language, and the most exciting part is the DOM manipulation section. The instructor will show you how to use a DOM object and manipulate components on a website. This course took me about one month to finish, so you should be able to complete it in no time. Once you finish the two courses, it's project time. You know I'm a big fan of learning from projects, because that's the best way to reinforce what you learn from these tutorials. But what projects should you build? My opinion about this is building something that solves your old problems. You don't have to follow the trend like build a Twitter clone or a Netflix clone. Everyone does that. You have to be original to stand out. So for example, let's say you want to find a job. You can be a personal website that shows all of your past experience. Or you can be a job board that shows all available job openings. If you are building something to solve your old problems, you are more likely to be motivated and finish the project. At this stage, you should not use any framework yet. Just build everything using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. The next step is picking a front-end framework. The reason why I don't recommend learning frameworks at the beginning is because frameworks just simplify the process. You need to understand how front-end technologies work to use frameworks effectively. New front-end frameworks come out every year and there are thousands of battles trying to convince you which framework is the best. However, I highly recommend you ignore all the BS and just focus on learning React. I personally use this framework when I work at Redfin as a software engineer intern. The framework has a large ecosystem to find resources from and it's quite easy to learn. The way I learn React is by taking the React the Complete Guide course on Udemy. The course is taught by the same instructor from the JavaScript course I recommended above. I really like the course because it includes mini projects that help you get your hands dirty. Once you finish the course, start building a React project immediately. I highly suggest you refactor the code from your previous vanilla JavaScript project. Since you already know what's inside this project, it should not take you a lot of time to figure this out. The next thing to learn is REST API. This is a core backend development. When you browse a website on Google, you basically send an HTTP request to the website backend. The backend handles the request using REST API and gives the frontend the information it needs. 
But before you learn how to develop this API yourself, I recommend using pre-built API first. There are a lot of free APIs out there. Back then, I often used the Spotify Web API. It was a fun API to try. You can fetch this free API using JavaScript and play around with them. Once you understand how REST APIs work, it's time to learn building them. The first step is knowing the database. A database is a place where the data of your website is stored. So when a client sends a request to the server, aka the backend, the server will get the information from the database and send it back to the client. There are two types of databases, SQL and NoSQL. I recommend you learn SQL first because it's easier to use. The way I learned SQL is by taking a college course, but if you don't have access to that, another good resource is W3Schools. So they provide a basic SQL tutorial that you can follow. And to take your SQL skill to the next level, you can try the SQL 50 list on Leetco. So the list has 50 questions that allow you to apply your SQL skill in a real world setting. You can use any database management system from MySQL, SQL Server to progress SQL. I think MySQL is a good place to start. For NoSQL, I recommend learning MongoDB because this is the most popular technology in the industry. I have never taken any MongoDB course before, so I cannot provide you with concrete advice. I will let you figure this out by yourself. The next step is learning a backend framework. And just like frontend development, Backend frameworks help you build REST API in a simple manner. Personally, I like using Flask because I know Python and it's very easy to use. But if you don't want to learn a new language, you can try Node.js and Express. Node.js is a JavaScript engine, while Express is a backend framework. I built the entire website using the technologies before, so I know it's quite easy to learn. I just give you another option to consider, but it's up to you to decide. Once you have built a complete website, how can you make your work available to the world? The answer is version control. The most popular version control system today is Git. If you work as a software engineer, you will use Git on a daily basis. So mastering this technology is absolutely crucial. There's a website called GitHub that allows you to publish your project so that you can collaborate with other engineers or keep a record of your projects online. I have made another video on my channel explaining Git and GitHub in detail. You can check it out after watching this video. If you make to this point, congratulations, you know how to be a full stack website. But what if you turn off the computer? Your website is no longer available, right? So to prevent that, you need to deploy your website on a cloud service. The three most popular cloud services today are AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. I recommend you pick AWS, but any of these services will work just fine. Knowing how to deploy a website is a great skill on your resume, so take the time to learn the process. I don't think you need to take any course to learn about cloud. The best way to understand how cloud works is deploying your website. There are a lot of free resources out there on Google, so I bet you can figure it out by yourself. And finally, to increase your chance of succeeding in this path, I have two mindsets that can help you. First of all, it's not gonna be easy. It took me several years to figure all of this out and I'm still considering myself as a beginner. So don't expect to master all of this in just a few months. Coding is a lifelong journey, so patience is key. Secondly, adopt what works for you and adjust if necessary. Everything I share here is what works for me. You can experiment them yourself, but if you figure something out better, or something I suggest doesn't work for you, you don't have to follow my advice. Each person has a different way of learning. Your way of learning isn't necessarily my way of learning. So use your judgments and follow what's best for you. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That support the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.